Greetings, everyone. Core here. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, you know, movie releases have been too crazy the last, you know, year and a half. <laughs> so, of course, my movie reviews have been very far and few between. Uh, granted, I have missed one or two just because I feel like if I don't do the movie review within the first week, roughly, um, it's kind of misses the point <laughs> in a way because uh, I hope that these movie reviews help you you know, figure out if you want to go see this movie or not. Uh, granted, of course, there are some different ways now with HBO Max, Disney Plus, um, you know, just the way that they've been doing with multi releases or split releases and stuff like that. So today, of course, we are talking about Luca, which is the latest Dis uh, Disney Pixar movie that was released on Disney Plus. There's no premiere access for the uh, price or anything like that for this it's just part of your regular subscription so pretty much anyone can see it day one which was uh the 16th and i am currently uh reviewing this on the 18th granted it is very early morning and i kind of didn't realize it released on the 16th uh i was a little preoccupied watching loki and even today i went to go watch uh star horse uh the newest episode of star wars the bad batch and i saw luca on the main page and I was like oh I guess that came out <laughs> I knew it was coming out soon I just uh, for some reason I was thinking end of June or even July but yeah it was mid June uh, was that the same day even Loki came out I think uh, they probably came out not at midnight probably later in the day but nonetheless uh, I just finished watching it and I really liked it it's uh, the thing that Pixar has been doing lately it seems like you know they're they're really good at start, you know telling stories and connecting to people, and like how Soul was a connection to kind of adults and like just find just remembering those sparks, those happiness, you know, the things that made you you pretty much. Which Soul was totally aimed at an older audience. Uh, it's definitely aimed at the more adults that take their kids to go see it than the actual kids. Granted, of course, there are some things to entertain the kids enough <laughs> to watch it and sit through it. But nonetheless, the movie is definitely more adult-made than kid-made. <clears throat> Luca is kind of... Kind of almost the same way. Uh, granted, of course, there's a lot more stuff for kids and everything to enjoy. Um, the art design is different, di different, which I actually liked. It was pretty nice to see. Um, but yeah, it's it's... You know, for this one, it's about friendship, your first friendship, pretty much, and how much it means, you know, in life, <laughs> really, just to start, you get you going, and almost, in a way, it's kind of your spark um, to really find out who you are and what you like and stuff like that, because you have someone close enough where you could bounce ideas off of, have fun with, just do random crazy stuff, uh, like in this movie, like Luca does. Uh, with his friend um, Alberto and granted of course they're both fish people <laughs> so that's the twist on the story of course and it I mean it works really well uh, this takes place in the 1950s in Italy off you know some random port somewhere in Italy I, uh, it was a Porto Porco or something like that uh, Oh, Por Porto Rosso. Uh, the only reason I remember that is because it sounded like the movie Porco Rosso, <laughs> which Porco Rosso was a Studio Ghibli movie, which I really love. Um, but this is Porto, because it's a port, it's harbor, uh, mainly fishing and still living. And Rosso, which is red, crimson, pretty much the color. So. Uh, <laughs> It's a little gruesome now that I think about it. Uh, red port uh, where fish are pretty much the main living way. So, yeah, it's definitely a nightmare for <laughs> for fishmen, uh, and fish women, you know, fish people. Uh, but yeah, so uh, <laughs> besides the point, uh, <laughs> it is a really good movie about you know your first friendship. You know, it it goes through the stages. It's really nice to look at it's very colorful and vibrant it's 
you know, just voice acting from each of the characters are really good. The only character I didn't like was the main bad guy. I I mean, the main antagonist, which, yeah, of course, it's the main antagonist, but there's just something about, uh, something about the, the uh, pretty much how they talked and everything. Like, it just didn't feel like, I mean, I'm pretty sure they probably did a lot of their voice lines, you know, separately and stuff. They probably didn't. Um, do them in the same room like some movies or you know where they could bounce off make it more fluid and stuff but yeah man his like just everything he says I don't know if it's on purpose or not but it just feels so out of place I mean I, it, I guess it could be on purpose because he could be you know trying to you know make this the conversation about him trying to take control trying to you know be the only interesting thing there pretty much and yeah it's you know, it kind of does, but I don't know. Just something about it just seemed off. Um, I don't know if it's just because the he was probably the one that mixes a lot of Italian with English and the most compared to everybody else. But yeah, man, it's just something about it. Just it, it just threw me off a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so nonetheless, uh, yeah, this, the story's just about friendship. I mean, your, your first friendship, your first friendship is usually the one you remember the most. And yeah, man, Luca just, it's, it's, it's interesting because as I was watching it, you know, I'm just, this week has been just crazy and watching this just was nice to watch. You know, it's a nice relaxing movie just to enjoy, really. I mean, there's such good scenery, such good scenes where it's just, yeah, it kind of reminds you, it's like, yeah, it's. There's some really beautiful things in the world, and you do need to take your time and enjoy them while you can. And considering he's, you know, experienced pretty much the surface world for the first time, uh, Luca's pretty much just been, you know, underwater the whole time. So, yeah, it's definitely, it. I mean, yeah, we've seen it before, literally fish out of water stuff, but <laughs> uh, it's it's still entertaining just the way uh i guess because his voice actor is young his you know it's voice actors is really great um the emotions that they express in animation and stuff it just really works everything um yeah definitely once i hit about halfway in this movie it started hitting home a little bit uh definitely more connections and stuff uh it's just a great movie, to say the least. That's I mean, that's that's all I can really say about it. Uh, it's the ending is entertainable, oh, entertainable, entertaining enough. Uh, and of course, you know, it follows the three act structure. Granted, of course, the first act is pretty long. Uh, the second act, of course, you know, when you get the conflict and stuff, is pretty late in the movie compared to most movies. Um, but it doesn't really matter really it's it's it seems to all work out and it's a very enjoyable movie i mean i, I recommend it if you do have disney plus definitely check it out uh it's man it's it's just nice to have a nice movie after all this time so that's that um uh, definitely recommend it kids will probably enjoy it enough uh there's lots of you know slapstick humor and stuff like that uh, they might I'm pretty sure they'll repeat some of the words uh, that they say in it, uh, but yeah, man, it's it's a it's a very enjoyable movie. I do recommend it. Highly recommend it. Of course, Pixar is always good, just like Studio Ghibli movies and stuff like that. Uh, definitely recommend it. So, next movie I think is Fast and Furious. I'm gonna hopefully try to get that to watch it early. Uh, well, at least <laughs> early as in. Um, you know, when it's first released and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's, we'll see. Hopefully I can do a review on time because man, this one nearly slipped under my radar and I'm glad I caught it. So until next time guys, later.